Hey YouTube, aka Soggy Buns here, and as you can see, sometimes parking can be difficult. Sometimes you run into the wall. I had a request from my spouse to build them a garage parking uh, kind of indicator to let them know, like, hey, don't hit the wall, stop right here. So here's a little proof of concept right here. Um, and I know that this is a problem that's been solved by a very simple string and a tennis ball. It's not as practical in our garage as our garage has a 70, 70 foot ceiling. But, and why not Why not have an excuse to use a Raspberry Pi? So anyways, the, the proof of concept here is you just have a, a, a proximity sensor. It lets you know when you get close. And then there's a, a some Neo pixels to indicate, like, hey, stop right here. And then, of course, like, the car is going to be parked in the garage for a long time. So after the car hits the threshold for so long, then what it does is it turn out, turns the lights off, as you can see here. And then after a certain amount of time, the threshold will um, detect, like, oh, the car's gone or is in proximity. And then we'll again uh, show green for go ahead, come up, yellow, go ahead, slow down, and then red for stop. And as you can see here, I don't have the distances quite right, but this is just a proof of concept. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and drill some holes in this case to get it ready to prep to put in the proximity sensors. I'll drill some more holes to put the NeoPixels in. And then I'll go ahead and I'll hot glue it all in because I love hot glue. <laughs> and I'll drill holes on the side for power just to put in the micro USB cable. So you can see I got the proximity sensor and the NeoPixels glued onto the face of the the waterproof case. It doesn't need to be a waterproof, waterproof case. This is just since I don't have a 3D printer right now, this was just an easier solution to do. And there's the the lights. Just doing a test inside the case, making sure I got the wires uh, correctly put in. I have a schematic right here I'll show you of how I plugged in the proximity sensor and then the the NeoPixel. I just had this Raspberry Pi 2 laying around and I wanted to write it with C Sharp. So I have all the code and the diagram up on my GitHub so go ahead and check that out. And then here's another uh, kind of proof of concept showing you what it looks like from the a POV, first person POV. As you can see, there's a couple holes that are not quite lined up, so I'm going to get that rearranged. But hope you like this video. Um, if you have a suggestion on some things I can do to change, I could probably add a servo to the proximity sensor and fix those LEDs and maybe tweak the code a little bit. But go ahead, if you like the video, give it a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. Leave me a comment. Uh, go ahead, check out my GitHub if you want the code. And again, thanks for watching.